Actually, when I began STAR, um, I was really frightened because she doesn't say a lot. She is, if you like, the silent sister. And um, so I was just thinking, well, this is going to be the shortest book I ever wrote <laughs> because all she'll say is yes, no, nothing, and it'll be like the end. I thought, well, there's so much in England that actually I can write about. How do other people look at England? And of course, well, for my money anyway, there are three things, and one is the royal family, uh, two is the amazing English country gardens, and the third is, I believe, our literary heritage. At the end of the Storm Sister, Ali's book, Star, we know, is living in London. And what was so great about Star was the fact that I was actually pacing up and down along the streets that her story is set in. There's Albert Bridge, which I can actually see from my house, and uh, she takes the bus up to Kensington High Street, which is a place that I used to live very, very close to, and Church Street, and on Church Street, there is this amazing imaginary antiquarian bookshop. And really, it's when Star gets to that bookshop that she starts to uncover her past story. And the bookshop is run by uh, a very eccentric owner. And not only that, but Star starts to discover that he has an equally incredible set of family members as well. This was really interesting for me because obviously I was talking about um, my own country's past. I went up to the lakes and one of my favourite childhood authors and uh, an author that I still love is Beatrix Potter and so she also features in the book as well. Star Story I think really is about her suddenly coming to terms with the fact that she can't live the rest of her life um, almost, as she puts it, married to her younger sister. And so she has to find somewhere, dig down deep and find the courage to move forward and find her own life and actually come out of the shadow of Cece.